Hey guys, so first off, I want to apologize for not having had time to make a video the last few days. That being said, today's video is going to be about residential electrical. So I started out in residential electrical before eventually carting out and moving to commercial. So here's what I know about residential electrical. So new construction is going to be your ground up new building work and this is going to be very fast paced. It's going to be pretty easy work. It's a, uh, you know, hard work but not complicated. So it's all about a numbers game, efficiency. So this is best to get into. Um, kind of gets you uh, familiar with the products and how everything interacts together and the mechanical side of things. So, uh, you know, this is really great to learn. Now, it's not the best paying and uh, you know, there's not a whole lot to move into, um, so I wouldn't really recommend it as far as a long-term thing. Now, after new construction, there's remodel, and that's going to be generally a little bit higher paid. Uh, it's a little more complex, just in figuring out how to, you know, get wire and uh, different uh, boxes and cans and uh, whatnot in with minimal damage and uh, you know more, as much precision and accuracy as possible right you know you want to, you want everything to look you know the same you want everything to look like it fits in place not just kind of be in a weird uh, position or spot where you're kind of considering whether the installer was on drugs or whether they knew what they were doing right so uh, this is going to be um, pretty fun. You got to figure out what's going on and how you can reuse things, and you know uh, how things used to work, how things need to work. Um, this is going to be something that's good to move to uh, after new construction, just because then you'll have the basics down, and then you can start to work on you know what can I uh, what can I accomplish using those basics. Um, there's going to be a lot more tasks that you're not going to be familiar with from new construction like fishing or uh, you know see, you know finding studs through sheetrock so it's going to be you know a little harder but it's worth the money it's it's a little bit uh, more stimulating um, it's not as much of a numbers game but time is still money so you still got to pump stuff out but it's a little more forgiving just because of the fact that you're going to be uh, <clears throat> encountering things like uh, fire block or just uh, random things that are in your way. Um, you're going to be having tough drill spots like in the crawl space and attic trying to get into the exterior walls isn't very fun. And also finding where the walls are. Um, in those spaces being the crawler in the attic uh, it's not that easy right you know you gotta figure out where you are first off and then you gotta figure out what bay you know exactly where in that wall that you want to be at so it's it's not um, it's not fun in the sense that you're gonna be uncomfortable but it's fun in the sense that it's stimulating and rewarding so that being said uh, the next type is going to be service type of work now this is going to be adding a light adding a switch uh, adding an outlet or deleting a light deleting a switch deleting whatever uh, maybe something's not working maybe um, Maybe they just want a consult to figure something out. You know, this is generally going to be your service type of work. So uh, it's the best paying, but it also requires the most experience because time is money. And if you're just fumbling and bumbling around, you're they're gonna they're gonna be very your your client that is they're gonna be very upset and kind of wondering why they're paying a ludicrous amount for somebody who it seems like is just taking guesses. Some of the materials that you'll use as a residential electrician are going to include plastic boxes. Very rarely will you use metal boxes 
When you do, you'll use a plastic bushing. You'll use non-metallic building wire or Romex. You'll use staples to affix the Romex. You'll use crimp sleeves. Um, you'll also use PVC conduit uh, for any exposed installations or anything that's in the ground. If uh, your service requires it, you'll use rigid, but that's pretty rare. And uh, if you're doing anything flexible, you're probably going to use flexible metallic conduit. Very rarely are you going to use MC as a residential electrician. So some of the tasks in residential include uh, your service. So if it's underground, you're going to be running conduit or underground rated wire. Um, if it's above ground, you're going to be installing a mast so that uh, you can support the wires coming from the utility. And you're going to route those into your meter so that you can obviously meter how much uh, power is being consumed by your home. You're also going to have to set the panel and do any sort of grounding and bonding that is required for the, uh, the building. You also need to box the, the building. You know, you're going to have outlets, you're going to have switches, you're going to have lights, smoke detectors. So those all need to get laid out and installed. Once you've got the actual boxes in place, you can start drilling out the building so that you can route your wires. You'll know, you know, where uh, your switch legs are going to go. You're going to know um, what uh, box is going to be first in line and what's going to be fed from that box uh, and in what order. So that's kind of important. So once you've got everything drilled out, you'll start running your home runs from the panel to the first box in the circuit. And uh, once all your home runs are landed, you'll start running any sort of power jumpers out of those boxes into any box that needs a constant hot. And you do this so that you make sure everything has power. Um, once everything is powered, you're going to start pulling any sort of travelers or switch legs. So if you have, uh, let's say, a three-way circuit from the upstairs to the downstairs, or if you have a three-way circuit from your garage to uh, the house. So you gotta take care of those, but you wanna make sure everything has power. You gotta make sure that every light has power coming from its respective switch. Once you've got that all taken care of, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and take care of all your makeup. So you're gonna wanna make sure and de-sheath and you know, just associate all uh, the wires that go together with each other so for me I like to either wrap them with the ground wire or with the hot wire or sometimes both it just depends on uh, what I'm who I'm working for really and uh, what I think is going to be best uh, in that situation or that house sorry um, after that, you're going to have devicing, so obviously you're going to have to put in all your outlets, switches, your lights. Um, this is not my favorite portion, but it is uh, part of the job. Um, in devicing, you're also going to have plating. Typically, when you device, you're going to put the plate on immediately afterwards, so uh, those are kind of intertwined together. Once everything is landed and installed, then you'll go ahead and hot check everything and make sure everything is working as it should be. Um, this is the most crucial step. If you don't hot check, then I mean, you, you don't know what you're uh, missing really. You know, sometimes it's not even necessarily your fault. Uh, there could have been a wire that got hit and so one outlet uh, is it being fed or maybe it's a whole row of outlets um, you really got to make sure that you hot check and verify that everything is correct make sure that things uh, still in the wall and buried you know sheet rockers aren't perfect we all know that um, definitely seen mudders just cover a box with mud for whatever reason um, so these are the steps that uh, it takes to wire a house. Uh, they're not too hard. It's 
generally a couple days of work unless it's a really big house or a custom house. So that's a little background on residential. If you have any specific questions, just go ahead and comment and I'll do my best to answer the question either in the comments or in a new video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll be looking out for any feedback. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and have a good night. Bye.